Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm going to be making a really, really simple recipe today. It's just cheese. And we're going to bake it in the oven and we're going to make cheese chips for a keto diet. I'm going to be using a knife. This is a, a block of cheddar cheese, just regular cheddar cheese. I usually buy a five pound block and, um, you know, use it to snack on and stuff um, while on the keto diet. So basically I'm going to be cutting it with a knife. You could probably use like a mandolin or anything like that if you have one. It might be easier. Um, I cut it in about two millimeter slices all the way across. And then I'm going to cut it into fours. Equal pieces. Then what I'm going to do is I got some parchment paper here. This is just some regular bacon paper. You can buy it at any grocery store. I'm going to lay it down in a pan. A sheet tray would have been better for this, but this is what I have. So I've been making it with this. This comes out so awesome, it's really, really easy to make and it's delicious. So basically I set down little cheese squares, about an inch and a half inch apart. Alright guys, so there's the, the cheese set up on the tray and what I do is I cook it in the oven for 350 degrees for about 14 minutes. Um, your oven might be a little bit different, some ovens are hard, hotter than others, so you have to kind of, you know, experiment first and see how it comes out. I started at 12 minutes but they were too soft, so then I added a little bit more time until I went up to 14 and they were just the right consistency, nice and crispy. Okay guys, so basically this is what it looks like. It's completely cooked. Uh, 14 minutes and then what I do is take out the paper, place them on the side, and let them cool off for about 10 minutes. And then we take them off and put them in a bowl. So here's the finished product. This is basically what they look like. They're very, very crispy um, and they taste amazing. I mean, these taste like better than any cheeses that you could ever buy at the store. Um, and they have no preservatives, no chemicals, no wheat. Um, it's just cheese. So basically what I do when they're done, I just take them like that and I put them aside. You can put them in a Ziploc bag if you want and eat them later. They'll stay good for quite a while um, in a bag or a Tupperware and then you can have them later for snack if you guys have a couple of trays you can make more you know and set them aside and have them in between your meals as snacks so there you have it guys um, another simple video I'll keep bringing you guys these super easy videos every week so you don't get bored of your of your diet and um, you have different options all the time that you can make with minimal effort I uh, hope you enjoyed it and uh, remember to subscribe and recommend the channel and I'll see you on the next one.